Deputy President William Ruto has broken his silence on coronavirus management in the country. Addressing the nation, Ruto urged Kenyans not to underestimate the deadly coronavirus that has claimed more than 89,000 people globally and infected about 1.5 million people. Ruto, who has been missing during President Uru Kenyatta's updates, asked Kenyans to follow government's directives, saying the current situation has brought its share of tribulation and heartbreak. In reiterating President Kenyatta's message and that of Health CS Mutahi Kagwe, the DP outlined action points for the government in fighting COVID-19. Alice Diana reports. Yes, my friend. After going missing in the public limelight for some time, Deputy President William Ruto has finally resurfaced and broken his silence on COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Ruto was last seen in the public domain during the National Day for Prayer on 21st March 2020 at State House Nairobi. While addressing members of the Fourth Estate at his current residence in Nairobi on Thursday, Ruto said that in order to defeat this virus, Kenyans need to adhere to the simple behavioral and hygiene measures the government has put in place, which include washing of hands, wearing masks, and observing social distancing. Fortunately for us, defeating this virus, which has occasioned so much suffering, mayhem and disruption on a scale never witnessed in recent history, does not require the nuclear bomb, mighty armies or jet fighters. Kijana. Simple behavioral and hygiene measures, such as avoiding handshakes, washing hands with soap, sanitizing, wearing masks, social distancing, and staying at home, simple as they seem, guarantee us a decisive blow against this deadly virus. Ruto has also urged those who can work from home to do so and asked employers to adopt a shift system that enables staff to work at different times of day or on different days to minimize congestion in working places. He further added that curtailing of movements will completely immobilize the deadly virus and stop its spread. Curtailing our movements will completely immobilize this enemy and stop its spread. This is why we urge those who can work from home to do so, while those who must work in factories, offices, business premises, and such other areas to meticulously exercise social distancing. Employers should adopt a shift system that enables staff to work at different times of the day or on different days to minimize congestion in workplaces. In preparation for the possible escalation numbers of the COVID-19 cases, Ruto said the government has designated and equipped different hospitals and facilities across the country. He further reiterated the government's efforts to equip medical professionals with personal protective equipment PPE so as to enable them perform their duties without being compromised. In preparation for the possible escalation of the numbers of COVID-19 cases from hundreds into thousands, the government has designated and equipped different hospital and other facilities, including the 600-bed capacity Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital in Thika, while every county has been tasked to do the same with their health facilities around the country. The DP has also pleaded with the private sector to be considerate with their staff at this time and pleaded to the financial services sector to equally be understanding. I wish to appeal to the private sector to be compassionate, understanding and forbearing with our people and particularly to employers to make necessary adjustments on non-core expenses to safeguard jobs and to endeavor not to lay off staff. I also appeal to the financial sector, financial services sector, and more specifically the banking industry, to be equally understanding and consider instituting loan interest moratoria, suspend foreclosure on properties, and work out a framework to renegotiate loans with borrowers as requested by government. He has also called on farmers to take advantage of the long rainy season to plant crops so as to sustain the country's bread basket. Our farmers 
in their millions should come out strongly and take advantage of the good rains that we continue to experience and grow as much food as is possible. Deputy President William Bruto further cleared the air on why he has not been in the company of President Uhuru Kenyatta in the past few weeks during the briefings on the coronavirus, something that has raised eyebrows in the country. According to the DP, he has been consulting regularly with the head of state and all the ministers in the management of this pandemic. He added that they are making video and teleconferencing a big portion of government operations in order to practice social distancing. Today's press conference at his current office marked his first public appearance in more than two weeks. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch in Nairobi, I'm Alice Diana.